Today we're going to be looking at how to import CSV and DXF files onto the SIRPAD software. I've already connected my controller to my computer via the USB charging cable. So if I go onto my file manager, you can now see that my controller that is connected up and I'm able to access the files on the controller. So if I go to my desktop first, find the files I want to import across. I've got my CSV and DXF here. I'm going to copy the CSV first, go on to the controller, find the SERPAD folder, and then for CSVs I want to find the input folder. And I'm just going to paste my CSV here, copy and replace it. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to the desktop, find my DXF file, copy that back to the controller, find my SERPAD folder, and then for DXFs, I want to copy them in the map folder. Both my CSV and DXF files are now on the controller. I can select my SERPAD software on the home screen and open up the SERPAD. I've already created a job called CSV import. And you can see I'm on the project tab. So from this list, I'm going to select points database. I'm going to select import file format. I've created my own CSV format, which is point X, Y, Z, C at the bottom of the list. So I'm going to select that property type. I'm just going to change to input point, click OK. And you can see it's taken me straight to the input folder, which is where we've been saving our CSVs. I'm going to highlight my CSV, click OK. It shows me a quick preview of a few points. Click OK again. And there you go. It's been imported in the CSV file. For the TXF, what I'm going to do is create a new job. If I just call that DXF import. OK keep the same coordinate system as the CSV job. Okay, now at the bottom I've got project device survey for CAD. I want to select survey. There you can see I've got my CAD option there. Hit that. At the bottom I've got a data tab. Select that and then I want the CAD open option. And then you can see I've got my DXF files in there because it's taking me straight to the map folder. So if I select my DXF, I want to import, highlight it, click OK, starts to import it. It's a little bit of a big job, so it's just taking a little while. And there you go. I've got my DXF now on my CAD screen.